Hi, this is an introductory to the ELO rating system as portrayed in the movie The Social Network. Uh, those of you who've seen the movie The Social Network, you know that, well, it's a movie that was meant to illustrate the history behind the founding of the pop popular website Facebook. At the beginning of the movie, um, you, you see that Mark Zuckerberg develops a website to rate girls' faces. Now, you're, you're asking yourself right now, well, what's the big deal? Isn't rating just either or, one against another? One vote yes or no, vote left or right? I mean, wh what formula do you need for that? So this is where the ELO rating system comes in. Think about it a little. Let's say you had 10 players in this rating game. Ideally, or, or in a perfect world, how many times would you need to compete one against another to actually have the fair ranking, uh, an accurate ranking of all 10 players? Well, you start with the first player, you would have to compete against all nine. The second player would compete against the remaining eight. The third player would compete against the remaining seven, and so on. What you would end up having is... Now, how many comparisons would you, would you have to make? You would have 9 plus 8 plus 7 plus 6. Tell me, how do you solve this problem? How many competitions would that be? See, your head's already spinning. A lot. Well, I'll help you with this one. To solve the problem of adding 9 all the way to 1, Gauss developed a shortcut. What he did was he added 9 and 1, 2 and 8, 3 and 7, and so on. So adding 9 all the way to 1, you would get 45. So just for 10 players, you would have to compete 45 times. Now imagine if you had to play 100 players. That's a lot of work. So in the real world, that's not a practical way of rating players. This is why there's a formula developed called the ELO rating system. Another formula that was adopted before ELO was um, introduced is called the Harkness system. I'll leave links on the bottom here so you can read them. The point of these algorithms is to save time and record the history of each player because you cannot expect that for 10 players all 45 times, each voter will get to rate each player against another. Especially, you know, on the internet. Users or voters come and go. It's just impossible or unfair to expect that every gamer or player will be fairly rated against one another in equal times. It just doesn't happen. So what this formula takes into account is that if you've consistently beaten your competitors, you'll get a higher ranking. And so you won't have to start from zero again, and you are on the top until somebody beats you, and that person gets on top of you. People who who watch sports know this, because when you're watching playoffs, what do we have? You have eight teams. You're not going to play... Not, not every team is going to play against each other. It just doesn't happen. So what happens is to save time, we have number one play against number eight, number two play against number seven, and so on. So you cut your work into fractions. So this is what the ELO rating system was basically designed to solve. It makes ratings much faster and much more fair. And over time, with for lack of a better word, random users and voters, it gives a fair rating to both the winners and the losers. Thanks.